Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you a new way we can now tag documents in Microsoft 365. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but um, if you navigate to your um, Microsoft 365 uh, landing page, that's where you kind of have recently, uh, you know, you know, access documents, recently modified documents and other types of content. Uh, if you hover over, let's say uh, one of the documents, uh, one of the options we now have is the ability to tag uh, that particular uh, document. And by default, this will be empty and you can also uh, create you know, new tags uh, on the fly. Now, historically, uh, we obviously had uh, the ability to create tags in SharePoint uh, forever. Uh, and the way it worked, right, you would typically have a list or a document library and create a column and the different types of columns and essentially create uh, your metadata tags uh, that way. And of course, that uh, allowed you to, uh, you know, filter and, um, you know, sort and group uh, the content uh, any way uh, you want in your library, let's say. Uh, this is a little bit different. This is a little bit different. Uh, so uh, those tags that we have here, they are only available within this interface. So there are actually two places where you can um, create tags and tag content with this new Microsoft 365 tags. Uh, the first location is obviously here uh, within the Microsoft 365 uh, landing page. And the second location, if you click on my content, uh, you kind of see, you know, pretty much the same thing. You just obviously see uh, a lot more uh, than what you saw on that main page. And once again, we can easily uh, just um, hover over the document, new, and uh, let's just say uh, I'm going to create a new tag over here. Uh, when you create a new tag, you can give it a color, you can give it a name, and essentially, once you uh, click enter, uh, the tag will be uh, created. Now, uh, the next time you go ahead and tag the document, that um, you know that tag uh, will be available as well for you. And um, here is the deal with those tags. So, a couple of things I wanted to mention. So, first of all, all the tags you create. Um, they end up over here in this uh, little area on the lower right uh, left uh, of the screen. So, for example, if you quickly want to uh, filter uh, through different, uh, you know, tags, you can uh, easily do so. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention about those tags, um, the beauty, I guess, one of the advantages of this uh, is that uh, first of all, uh, it's so easy to create, but second, it's not just the documents uh, that you can tag. Essentially, everything you see on this page, so you see I have some videos, I have some documents, I have some lists. So look at this. I can tag uh, the lists, so let's do that. All right, and just like that. Uh, I have some forms and loop, compo loop components. I can tag those as well. So essentially, it's not restricted just to documents within the document library. Uh, and that's a big advantage. Uh, the downside of this uh, approach is that those tags are only available pretty much uh, on this page. Uh, they are not, you know, these are not the tags uh, that are set up in SharePoint. Uh, you cannot really, um, you know, do anything more than uh, what I just showed you, right? With metadata tags within the library, there is just so much more you can do with them. You can group and sort and filter, and there are different ways, and you can define those tags, you know, globally at the tenant level or, uh, you know, locally at the library level. These tags are personal to you, all right? So these tags are personal to you, and uh, essentially, uh, you are the only one who sees those tags. It's just a way for you uh, to kind of organize, right? Because this could be overwhelming, um, even though you know Microsoft allows you to, I guess, uh, you know, favorite certain stuff and uh, uh, I guess filter it by certain built-in filters. But those tags just allow you to um, pretty much, um, you know, tag uh, content in your own little way. And uh, you can also apply multiple tags. That's one other thing that uh, I kind of like in here as well. Uh, the uh, I, I hope this functionality will be improved in the future. Um, it's not available. It's not available in OneDrive, all right? That's the thing. If you are going to your OneDrive, uh, unfortunately, at least as of re uh, the recording of this video, uh, you cannot really... Uh, you know, tag things uh, within uh, the OneDrive. It only works once again uh, on those um, 
uh, on the Microsoft 365 landing page as well as my uh, content page. So that's all really I wanted to show you in this particular uh, video. Um, hopefully you learned something new. I really hope that this functionality will be expanded in the future and uh, we'll have a little bit more functionality and uh, you know possibilities with those tags. But for now, thank you very much for watching. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.